Welcome back. Today we're going to do something we haven't done in a long time. Some of you that have been with the channel for a while might remember some videos a while back when we did some then and now pictures. Some pictures where I come across the, you know, some location of back in the day and how it's changed over time. And we're at Freeport Park in Freeport, Pennsylvania. And there's a little landmark down here. There's actually two structures here that are still in, uh, that still exist. And I have a couple of old photos of back in the day when it still, when they were still both used and functioning. And I've, I've had these photos for a couple of years. And I don't even remember how I come across them, but Bell, are you coming along? And I've been meaning to do this, so I guess today's the day. The then and now pictures were almost there. The then and now pictures were like down in Apollo, the, uh, the streetcar by the hotel coming down that road. Oh, back down in Leechburg, there was the streetcar coming down Market Street. And uh, the other, the then and the now. And what else was there? The Belvedere Hotel. We had a picture of the Belvedere Hotel on the left and uh, with a train station there on the right. And of course that's been gone for many years. Another picture of the front of the front of the hotel and the back then picture with the two guys. They look like they're dressed in 1920s, uh, 20s-ish era. And um, another picture of the Belvedere up on the right with a, a steam locomotive there. And that's back when the, there was two tracks running through there. You can see the, the railroads right away there. There's room for two rails. Well, they only need one these days, so that was removed. And there was also the Leechburg train station across the river down by the bridge, long gone. That's back when freight and passenger service uh, was a thing. If you really want to find those, if you haven't seen those, you could probably search the channel for uh, then and now. And go to the video tab and the search bar and search for then and now, or Apollo, Pennsylvania, or Leech Park, Pennsylvania. Bella, bella. Well, this has changed, yeah? When I was here last, this was uh, this walking path was not here. This was all kind of grown up, and you had to. They've changed part of the tr old train route into a walking path. It's a rails to trails. <laughs> there are parts in a park where you just can't because they put in a bunch of ball fields, and uh, so they had to take a detour. But this is pretty cool, and there's an alternate route that, uh, in case the tunnel spooks you out. And when I was up here last, there's a door in here. Maybe they've cleaned it out. Oh, I should have taken a, maybe my phone has a flashlight. Yeah, hang on. This was, I'm surprised. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, there's Bella out at the other end. Bella, Bella. Bella. What is wrong with my phone? Girl. Bella. Come on, girl. The last time I was here, uh, the, the, door, the door was still on it. And it was open just a wee little bit. And when I came in here, I heard something suddenly moving, banging around like maybe there's a, a possum or a raccoon or, you know, and it startled me. I just wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I kind of got spooked and backed out and went around. But for a long time, okay, this, they hit, there was a train here at the park. Let me get to the story here. There was a train here in the park, went the whole way around the park. It was nice. Uh, adults and kids could ride it until one day some unruly kid uh, decided he was going to jump off the train. And he fell and he broke his arm. And then they filed a lawsuit against the park owners. 
Well, the park owner said, well, we're not going to have that. And uh, they closed the train down and they sold it. They came and tore up all the track, shipped the train off to some amusement park, I think in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania, it still has that train. But here, okay, so here's this picture. I gotta, I gotta get this set up here. Wait, what do I do with my phone? Uh, Bella, Bella, what are you doing, girl? So let's see, I have this picture stored in my OneDrive on my phone. Pictures, uh, camera roll, uh, nope, camera, import, a railroad, Freeport, okay, I'm going to have to crop this too, okay, hang on, now I'm going to take this picture, and then when I go to edit this video, I will sit and, uh, uh, I'll kind of resize them the same, and make one fade into the other and this actually looks like a pretty good angle it's a little bit it's a little bit hard hard to see anyway i'm gonna take my phone i'm gonna take a snapshot of this and then when i go back and edit i'll uh there'll be a real good comparison And then the other location, actually the train station, that's the other structure. The train station still exists. We'll go around the uh, the other end of the park and check out the train blah, 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 the train station. I'm pretty sure it is still pretty overgrown. Uh, I think they've actually added on to it, and they use it to store soccer equipment for the soccer field. So we'll see how much of that's kind of still intact. Bella, bella, <whistles> bella, bella. <laughs> all right hang on here we'll get going so this park has changed so much over the years but here's one thing that makes me sad and i don't have a picture of this you have to imagine this a little bit maybe <laughs> wait a minute bell how'd you you're, wait you got all wrapped up here some people came by on their uh, on the walking path and their bike so i had to put bella on her leash okay there we go all right now imagine a pavilion used to be here and not just a generic pavilion. There used to be a pavilion here that was just done in beautiful, large cut stone, uh, you know, back when stone cutting, you know, there's an art to that. It's probably a lost art. I'm sure there's still some folks that do it, but you know, on this end, there was a kitchen, uh, a full kitchen built here. Now it was brick, but it was done the outside of it was stone but the rest of it was big stone pillars and it was large had huge huge uh picnic tables in it a big just a grand roof on the far end way down here it had this giant fireplace it's one of the fireplaces that you you like see in a mansion or something and, you know the uh the fireplace was like about eight feet wide and i uh, just had a huge stone chimney and it was just done beautiful stonework and wooden beams in it but you know the park was left go for uh a lot of years and this pavilion didn't get uh used yeah you know some park the usage of the park kind of declined for some years maintenance on it declined and this was an area back here that just didn't get as much attention and it got overgrown and all kind of debris and weeds around it and moisture started kicking in and rotting the beams and uh there's another one that's not as grand it's kind of a generic it's still done in stone it's we we might see that down there but uh it was like the basic type done in stone but this was like a grand just just a beautiful just just a beautiful pavilion and i also thought this would be such a nice place like to have a a wedding reception or something and uh actually that's it was uh we were gonna have a me and my late ex-wife was gonna have our wed wedding reception here and then uh weather but then we, when we looked into it uh at that time it wasn't real bad but you could tell it was needing it was needing some work <laughs> that it, uh, it wasn't available the other one was still available bella spinning me around 
Uh, but then it was September and the weather, you know, the last minute we grabbed the fire hall because the weather went to crap anyway. But the, this would just used to be so beautiful back here. Some remnants still, still floating around here a little bit. Oh. Somebody tried making their own little camp back here. Found one of the old barbecue pits and so making a little fire ring. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe as they clean this area up back here. Uh, yeah, they're just a place to put stuff. Yeah, the places just went really bad for a lot of years. And then just here in the recent, I'd say, th you know, th three or four years, uh, committee, a committee was formed. Some private individuals and business owners and like-minded individuals got together and raised some funds for the place uh, to do just park-type things. It, there were baseball fields and soccer fields, and that's about all this was uh, anymore. <laughs> It was so overgrown that it just looked like there were these uh, sports fields just out in the woods somewhere because the rest of the park was just left go really bad. But uh, now, yeah, th this was this was really difficult to get back into uh, for a while, but now they finally put a, it's getting all reclaimed and paths put in. It's pretty cool. All right, I see no other people and no other vehicles. Bella, you want back off your leash? Come here. What's this brick just doing here? Okay. Come on, this way. Hey, this way. Oh, Bella, come. Come on, this way. I was mistaken. There was two people walking their dog. But Bella wasn't really good. Come on, this way. Of course, they went off their leash <laughs> so they could come see her. Bella, 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 Bella. There also used to be some things here in the park that you could climb on and get hurt on. Some really cool things, but they're they're now gone too. There was a there was a rocket you could climb up in. Uh, a ladder and then you go 180 degrees up another ladder 180 degrees up a ladder I think you go up about four stories and uh, it seemed like kind of a rickety old metal uh, boy I wish I had a picture of that yeah but that's long gone there was a really cool old caboose an old wooden caboose it was all painted red and you could go in it and on it and well one day, somehow, it caught fire. I think somebody was playing with fire or just decided to burn it to the ground, but it's gone. Actually, I think at one time there was two cabooses here. I think one was sold and gone. The other one, like I say, burnt. What else? There's a big jet airplane. You could climb in one end, in the tail end. They hollowed it out. You go through, like, climb on your hands and knees through a conveyor. and. Uh, then there was a sliding board out, out the nose of it. There's steps you can get up on the wing, climb up into the cockpit. It's gone. All that fun stuff. Yeah, and that metal got really hot in the summertime too. <laughs> Climbing on an airplane in the summer was, uh, you had to be careful. Yeah, it seems the baseball, I mean, on a, bright, on a brighter note, um, baseball is popular. There's about six uh, little league fields here. And I think this is where they held the, uh, the Freeport Invitational. Uh, I think it's maybe actually an international thing. I don't know, but it's a pretty big deal for uh, a town the size of Freeport. The, uh, and right in here is kind of the area where the, uh, that rocket stood over here. The caboose was just sitting right here in this field all, all nice and it was just nice. <laughs> and yeah, it's gone. The, the tank is still over there. Uh, probably because the tank would be a little, there's a little more involved in moving a tank. So that's probably going to be a permanent fixture. Yeah, I don't have my seatbelt on here in the park. Uh, that's, the, that's the noise you keep hearing. There you go, kid over there playing right now on it. So, yeah, there's a tank still here. 
can't burn it down and it's 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 i don't know how many tons were there but anyway yeah the airplane sat down down here by the entrance more soccer fields oh and the cannon is still here it was missing a tire for a long time somebody found a tire for it <laughs> in uh got a fresh paint job so that's pretty cool there has been some money put back into the park lately and been reclaimed all these bushes around here these were so overgrown i mean they they had to been you know 15 feet high or better and around some of the original walkways were yellow brick oh there we go now there's not a whole lot of this left in the park but uh these were completely overgrown just the, the sod, the, the dirt, and the the, uh, the uh, grass just they disappeared. Well, they come out with the shovels and stuff and scrape them all off. And so there's places in the park where, um, yeah, they've re they've uh, revealed the old original uh, walkways that were through here. And there were bathrooms over here, and there were water fountains throughout the park, and that stuff's all long gone. Oh, if I just put my stupid seatbelt on, right? There's that other pavilion. I don't know how well you can see that. But, yeah, it's all, it's all done in stone. It's uh, not as grand as that other one was. Here's the sad thing. Is, uh, there used to be a beautiful, beautiful swimming pool there. It, uh, despite some of the other uh, failings of the park that that pool remained in operation for a lot of years and then finally there just wasn't enough attendance to keep it just you know just it was uh, done they closed it all right well it looks like there's a soccer game going on down here now but uh, that's not gonna bother us what we're doing you just kind of gotta go down and around them and then we'll be down to the train station Okay, so we're down here at the uh, other end of the park, and the train station still exists. I'll show you, uh, we'll get to the, the old uh, then picture here in a minute, but the, you'll probably notice the roof structure has changed. There used to be, I think, just a row of uh, columns holding the roof that went down the middle, and this roof was repaired. But some changes were made at some point, and they put them, you know, the posts on the outside corners instead of down the middle. That's one thing you'll notice. And they, the building looks slightly different too because they added on to the original building the ticket, the ticket counter. Uh, this whole piece here in the front is new. This piece here in the back, you can see it's much narrower, and the brick is a little bit older. They, you know, they bricked up the old window. So and there's a window in the back. I think you get refreshments and some chips there. But you would come around the corner and this here this wasn't here you just go around the front of the building and that was the main ticket uh the ticket counter and yeah there was another door here that was bricked up but yes yeah, so it was just a tiny little brick building and all this here now that was added on is uh for storage i think they store soccer equipment in there so anyway, oh yeah, and that building back there, <laughs> obviously that's newer, that wasn't here. So yeah, the train would come down right alongside there, right down alongside this platform. And, and down here and you would depart, you would get on board or depart here. So I think the original picture, well, I know the picture that I have was taken down here. So come on. Somewhere right in about, that picture was taken somewhere right in about here. All right, so I'll take a snapshot and then I have to go sit down and edit and put this together and We'll have the then and now.
What do you think, Bella? Bella, Bella. I think that's all we have for the park. Uh, this might be some clue as to what I have in mind going forward here with uh, some upcoming videos. We're gonna get out and hit the road and see some see some stuff I got been looking into. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little trip to the park today to snoop around and finally get those pictures. These then and now pictures, those pictures I've been holding on to. I finally got, finally got it done. Yeah, thanks for coming along. We'll be back soon. Mm -hmm.